Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to share the cons or the difficulties about living here in Brazil as an expat or foreigner. This video is a continuation of the pros. So if you haven't seen this video, check it out. The link is in the description box. Okay, let's get right to it. Okay, so the first difficulty, one of the difficulties about living here in Brazil as a foreigner is the language. Brazilians speak Brazilian Portuguese. And in comparison to English, Brazilian Portuguese has many conjugation of verbs. It's very different to English. It will be difficult to speak if you do not have a strong Latin influence in your language or speak any other language that has such a strong Latin influence. Because English is a West Germanic language. So nonetheless, the Brazilian Portuguese can be rather difficult for an English speaker who have had who have never had uh, that influence in other languages before, that is number one. So the language barrier, be prepared for that. It is rather challenging. Well, it was rather challenging for me to speak Portuguese. Thank God I've been here for so long and I have dedicated most of my years uh, in Brazil learning Portuguese and I needed that of course to survive here in Brazil so this is a con if you're intending to move here or even visit Brazil you need Brazilian Portuguese okay so let's talk about crime although I won't talk much about it because I know that everyone is aware that living in Brazil you have safety is a concern for visitors uh, for even the residents. So, however, um, I think it's important for me to still talk about it because it is a it is a con. It's rather challenging. It can be very scary depending on where you are and very uncomfortable. But it's something that you have to get used to if you plan on living here or even visit. Uh, so be prepared to be a little bit more cautious and very careful in your whereabouts when you go out and whatever you do you know you just got to be very careful so for me uh, the crime has been a shock factor the the measures needed to be taken that i think that was most of a shock factor for me because i'm not used to that so crime is a big con on my list okay moving on to the next con the currency the currency is a con, it is, an, it is an issue. Let's not forget that. So the currency in Brazil is rather low compared to the US dollars or compared to the, the, the European dollars, compared to pounds, right? It is rather low. I believe for the US dollars that as of right now filming this video, it is more or less five to one, meaning five US dollars is one Brazilian real. So it is extremely low. The currency is not very favorable for Brazilians. So, so if you are coming temporarily here as an expat or you come here to work, some companies they pay you in US dollars and some, and some do not. So you need to keep, be mindful that the currency differences when you do get um, a job. Great, moving along. In my last video, I mentioned that the food can be a pro and it can also be a con. So I have it listed here as a con. Why? Because for some, for some people, the food, the traditional Brazilian food might be quite different to what they're accustomed. Don't get me wrong, Brazilian food is quite nutritious. And in Brazil, they produce a lot of what they eat. I must say, however, that they have uh, their staples, such as rice and beans, mandioca, barbecue, rice and eggs, and things like that. And you may not be very fond of, such, of these types of food, and that is fine. 
in general many people like it and I love it so if you are not fond of this type of food you might have to get used to it here or you can try other foreign cuisines there are a few around the city areas that you know you may you may visit okay so another con that many people do not talk about is that Brazil can be very difficult to live for foreigners if you do not have good friends and why I say this is because Brazil is so bureaucratic there are so many things that an expat as myself a foreigner wouldn't understand and simple things like getting your your visa renewed figuring out where to get your CPF just figuring out legal stuff that is really important you need to have somebody you need to have a good person to guide you into to do most of the of, of these sort of things here in Brazil this person will need to guide you in what you need to do where you need to go things you need to get done because you might make uh, a mistake you might mess up and do things wrong and it may not work out for you very well so I was fortunate enough to have very good friends that I developed uh, great friendships with along the way and they helped me even in the beginning with things where I needed to go to the federal police to get things done to get documents uh, the Portuguese again the Brazilian Portuguese was a, a major barrier so my advice here is that you need to get good friends because Brazil is not for the weak it's not for the faint it's not for foreigners without good friends <laughs> Okay, so before I talk about this con, I advise that you see my first video on the pro because I talked more about the pro, but this one is a specific con. Now, the Brazilian public system, in my opinion, or systems, I believe that they are good. The public health system, I believe it's, it's, it's pretty good, but in this video, I'm going to talk about the, the con and something not necessarily maybe a con specifically, but it's just to be mindful if you, if you decide to use the public health system. In Brazil, Brazilians as well as foreigners who have CP, their CPF or RNA, they have, we have public health care. Okay, it's available for everyone and you are able to use the public service systems, right? However, when we talk about healthcare system here in Brazil, you would have to be very mindful that you may have to wait a very long time because there can be several other people in front of you, okay? So if you were to make a schedule medical appointment with a specific doctor within the public health system there's a chance that you'll be wait your waiting might be very long because there is a waiting list and most of the time if you are in dire need i believe you should be very aware that you may need to come to brazil come into brazil prepared to have your health finances reserved in case you need to use the private health system right Brazilian health system I believe it is a it is developing it has come out a long way and I have a, I have had personally a great experience from the public health system and the doctors they treated me perfectly there but like I said if you have a specific issue medical issue and you go to the public health system depending you may have a very long waiting list uh, so if you want to get something done rather quickly, the public health, the private health system, sorry, is the best way to go. But if you don't mind waiting, the public health is just as good. This is my opinion. So although I believe that the public systems are relatively good, I still have the transportation as a con in this list. And why I have it as a con is because I personally feel that Brazil can somehow implement a train, train transportation throughout Brazil. Here, to go to another state, you either take a plane or you drive there or you take a bus, right? And driving can take, take you days to get to another state. 
there isn't a train system that takes you there. Yes, there are trains in bigger cities like Sao Paulo, but that's within the state, right? This is also probably specific within a specific part, a specific region within Sao Paulo. I'm not too sure. I've only been there a few times. But to travel long distances, you have to either take the bus, the plane, uh, or you, you drive there by car. Um, there isn't any, any train service. Okay, so I believe this would be my last con. Please don't forget to subscribe or like this video. It helps the channel out a lot and I, it doesn't cost you anything to like or subscribe. And I want to thank you for being here again. So, I have another con and this con is a bit of a TMI. <laughs> but it's about the toilet situation. The plumbing whatever anyways here in brazil when you flush the toilet you put the toilet paper that you've used in the garbage next to the toilet so there there is a toilet and then there is a little bin right alongside it that's where the toilet paper goes you do not flush the toilet paper with everything that you just put in a toilet bowl okay <laughs> yeah, uh, that had me really uncomfortable for a really long time. I am still not yet 100%, but I have grown to, to just adjust to the situation because I'm here. So if you're coming from a country where you flush the toilet paper with the waste, you would be very uncomfortable as well. It will... It's not going to be very great for you in the beginning, so be aware that this happens here in Brazil. Brace yourself and be prepared, okay? And yes, it happens everywhere in Brazil, okay? So guys, this has come to the end of my video on the cons or difficulties in Brazil uh, that foreigners or expats face. Now, it may not be your typical cons, but... I thought it would be interested to share. Now, if you have any suggestions or on videos that you would like to see or any reviews or my, my feedback on any, anything specifically about Brazil, please don't hesitate to comment in the, in the comment section. Personally, I don't, ha I don't have many cons about Brazil, as you can see. I have more pros than cons. I think Brazil is more awesome than it is not. But it's good to be mindful of uh, your decisions and where you're going and what's, what's out there. So, thanks again for watching. Please do not forget to thumbs up and subscribe if this video was helpful to you. See you in another video. Bye, friends.